These images from Nigerian satellites show one of the country's dams and the well-planned capital city of Abuja, which is also home to the nerve center of the country's space program. The satellites are tracked here and the data collected can assist the government to shape its policies. The satellites could also help ensure food security for a rapidly expanding population. Nigeria is at the moment about 170 million. So what we are seeing by this projection, by the year 2020, Nigeria will be in excess of 200 million people. And what that means is that we require extra food. How do we do it? Commercial agriculture has to come. In large farms of 2,000 hectares, the only way you can monitor the health of the crops is using satellite. This is Lagos, a chaotic city growing at a staggering rate. But the urban planners can now use these images to manage this expansion and help this economic hub function efficiently. The satellites can also be used to fight crime. Here in the creeks of the Niger Delta, crude oil is stolen on an alarming scale. Some of it ends up in these illegal refineries, whilst entire shiploads leave the country undetected. It costs Nigeria millions of dollars a day. The space program could assist the military in cracking down on this crime and providing better intelligence to fight insecurity in other parts of the country. While the authorities are highlighting the benefits of this venture, the public might need to see more tangible results to be fully convinced that spending millions of dollars going to space is truly worth it. I prefer them to drop this project first and face the big challenges facing the common Nigerians, which are the education, the unemployment, and building infrastructures at concerned roads. At least if we could participate in um, some of these space projects, maybe send some people to space, and um, it will, I guess it will just widen our scope. While people on the ground are trying to make sense of what's going on many miles above their heads, the Nigerian space scientists are proud of what they've achieved. Some even hope to go into space. There's nothing anybody cannot do. All Nigerians, we're all human beings. So you think Nigerian parents should encourage their children to study space engineering? Uh, of course. I, for one, I hope I'll be opportune to be one of the astronauts, if it's possible. Nigeria's space program may be on a relatively small scale, but that does not stop the scientists from dreaming big. Tommy Oladipo, BBC News, Lagos.